Okay, section 15.3 talks about net profit. Okay, so the markup on your products, you must sell, uh, cover your operating expenses or overhead. So when a business owner talks about their overhead, that talks about all those expenses uh, that go into that product that are not just part of that product. You, uh, these expenses could include wages, salaries of employees. You could have rent, utility expenses, taxes, um, insurances, all sorts of things that kind of go into your business that are not part of the product. That's your operating expenses or your overhead. Okay, so when we start looking at overhead there's no possible way to have an exact expense for an overhead um, but what happens is is a lot of business people hire accountants um, they'll hire other engineers that have possibility of figuring out um, total costs and what it's relating to the business um, th this is where you have somebody who is, has very number sense and number wise that really dives into it uh, in our school, that would be our superintendent. Uh, he, he's looking at that overhead, all those operating costs that go into the school to make sure that the money we get is being spent, how it should be spent and not being wasted. Um, so a, as we look at this, uh, we need to figure out, well, what is our overhead? Okay, so one way to find overhead, so it's just one way. There's other ways to look at this. Uh, um, is we'll take our selling price times an overhead percent. So basically they're saying that, hey, each product is costing us 20% of the selling price. So we're losing 20% of our selling just on this overhead expense. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll take our net profit, we'll equal our markup minus our overhead. Uh, so let's look at example one. Okay, so in example one, they talk about a food processor. So food processor costs $56, it sells for $140, and then they say the overhead is 50% of that selling price. Okay, so in part A, they ask us, well, what's the markup? So to find the markup, well, we're going to do what we did in the past section. We're going to take the selling price minus the cost, so that's $84. So there's our markup. There is our potential profit right here. So, or our gross profit, okay? Now, our overhead. So, these are those expenses that we aren't thinking of that aren't part of the food processor. They're part of our big overall business that's going on. They said that it costs us 50% of the selling price. So, that means we're losing. So, we're going to take 140 times 50% or 0.5. So, once again, the selling price times the overhead percent we get $70. So that means now our net profit is going to be taking our markup, which is $84, and subtracting off our overhead of $70 to give us $14. Now you see, this is where many businesses run into problems. Okay? They see, oh, we have a good markup. We're doing well. We're making all this. But they forget about this overhead expense and how much money of that markup gets taken away here. And this is all they're making on that sale. So they sell one and 14 bucks is their profit right there. That's not a lot. They need, they need higher sales or a higher markup. And that's where business owners have to either start cutting this and trying to get this down or getting this to be higher and having a higher markup somehow with still being able to sell their product. Because if you had a food processor, yeah, we could sell it for $500 and have such a big markup. But who's going to buy it for $500 then? So that's where the reliability of products comes into play too. <clears throat> uh, if we look at example two, example two talks about a kitchen range. Okay, so we're talking about a stove. So a stove costs $578.40. They're going to sell it for $964. Overhead rates 35% of the selling price. Okay, so we're going to find the markup. The markup, we're going to take the selling minus the cost. So we get $385.60. So this is our gross profit. This is overall what we have right now. Now we got to pay our overhead. We got to pay our other expenses. 
Uh, so we have that overhead was 35% of the selling. So take 964. Right, 964 times 35, and you get $337.40. Now, our net profit, we're going to take our markup minus the overhead. So we take that markup minus the overhead, $48.20. So on this range, on this stove, you're only making and actually being able to profit $48.20. That really isn't giving you a lot for your business because how often are you selling stoves? You know, how often are people actually buying stoves? You know, a lot of times it's not that often. So it's just something that we got to be careful with as we go. Uh, if we look at number 13, okay. So on number 13, uh, they give us this scenario. Okay, so reading out problem number 13, it talks about... Uh, Houston Community Market purchases print-labeled milk at cost of $3.09 a gallon. The selling price of the gallon is $3.99. The overhead is estimated to be 20% the selling price. So we have cost is $3.09. Selling price is $3.99. Overhead rate is at 20% the selling. So we're going to find our markup. We take 399 minus 309 and we see that we have a 90 cent markup. So we're making 90 cents overall on this. Uh, we're going to take our selling cost. We want to find our overhead now. So we're going to take 399 times 0 0.20. Uh, this gives us 0 0.798. So we're going to round it to our 80 cents. So basically we have 0 0.8 or 0 0.80 or 80 cents overhead. Uh, so now that net profit we're going to take our 90 cents that we're making overall, take away our overhead charge or our operating expense, which was 80 cents, leaving us only making 10 cents per gallon. Now, on items that sell very frequently, this is common to have a very low net because, I mean, how often are people buying milk? You know, so we're seeing the sales happen more often so we can make this net profit continuously as we go on. Uh, so as we're considering in our businesses, we always got to be thinking that there are other expenses that go in that have to eat our profit. And that's where this overhead really can make or break a company as we start uh, developing it, as you start growing. And once again, as that company gets further and further along, they'll cut that overhead expense down, uh, thus making it more profit. And if they can't cut it down, well, that's when businesses start um, not making as much or being as profitable uh, within.